Say man, what's good with YouTube? So look man, we back at it again with a whole nother video. I appreciate that everybody uh, came to my channel. Y'all remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna be putting my Instagram somewhere down here below on the screen. So y'all can go ahead and follow that, but I greatly appreciate it. Also, I got it pulled up here for y'all so y'all can see what I got. Get that uh, subscriber, I mean subscriber count. Also get the subscriber count up, but uh, get these followers up, man. I greatly appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Getting uh, more momentum and everything that I got going on. So I greatly appreciate that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications on so y'all get uh, notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, man, uh, trucking has been great so far. If y'all wanna see a video of my uh, first paycheck, my rap is coming soon on my uh, 5.0. Actually, the video is coming soon. The rap is already on there. But uh, back to this, man, real quick. I choose uh, somebody uh, requested on hours of service, how it is, what it is, and stuff like that. So since right now, I'm, I've been off duty for an hour and 55 minutes. I hope y'all don't hear that wind noise. But I've been uh, off duty for an hour and 55 minutes, as y'all can see right here on the top of duty right hour 55 so yeah i'm gonna just be explaining this and i hope i can explain this in the best way possible and i get a lot of people to understand how i'm explaining it and uh yeah so with that being said i got what two video i got another video coming out this week not gonna be trucking related but i hope y'all stick around for either either of these videos and i hope y'all really getting the whole concept and understanding of uh, this video so look man right here in front of us we got the hours of service and um just to explain what hours of service is for the people that are probably just looking to get into trucking or trying to understand how it is and what it is i'm gonna go ahead and break that down and explain that first so right here is our eight hours right eight hours until we have our break obviously as you can see is real basic this is our drive time how much time we can drive obviously and here's our total shift so a total shift throughout the day we got 14 hours to, to do whatever it is that we need to do throughout our whole day that's basically what this is and this is our cycle so this is our 70 hours for our eight days that we're we're basically out here on the road trucking so 70 hours for eight days so um i would go into recaps in this video but that's just a whole nother issue for a whole nother video well recaps basically is to sum it up real quick for y'all recaps is when you could just keep on trucking every like all day every day you don't have to take a reset and the way i do it man i take resets i mean uh like yeah i take a re uh do a reset uh you know do my 34 hour reset somewhere and then i get all my 70 back and you know all my time back but recaps you could drive like eight hours and 40 minutes eight hours and 45 minutes every single day and you don't have to stop type of deal but that's for a whole nother video so this right here basically to uh to describe i basically described everything so what y'all see is right here so every 30 minutes that you take like let's say you take a 30 minute break this right here is always going to go back to to eight minutes so for an example let's say i start my pre-trip early in the morning right i start my pre-trip let's say at six o'clock that's uh 15 to 16 minutes this is not going to be messed with at all this time is going to stay the same because it's going to say um you know you're 11 hours because we get 11 hours of drive throughout the day so this is going to stay uh full this is gonna go down, this is gonna go down, and this is gonna go down. The reason why is because you're starting your shift. You're starting You're starting your day, basically. So when you go on duty for, let's say, 15 to 16 minutes, these clocks right here are gonna go down. This one's gonna stay the same, obviously, because you're not driving. So once you start driving, let's say you drive for three hours. This one, this one, this one, and this one are gonna move. So. This one's only gonna be taken off. This one's obviously gonna take off the three hours. These are gonna have the three hours and 16, three hours and 15 minutes right here. So with that being said, once, let's say you drive for three hours and you wanna go ahead and take a break or you need to put fuel or whatever that it is, right? You're gonna go ahead and stop. Woo -woo. Am I bad if I say right? I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? How I talk, I say man and right a lot, but uh, boom. I'm gonna try to stop saying that throughout this whole video, but boom. So let's say we get to a truck stop. Bang, we had a truck stop. Uh, it's not gonna take you really 30 minutes to fuel, but you know, you fuel, you eat, or whatever you do. So after 30 minutes, this always go back to eight. So let's say you drive for four hours, right? Four take away, four is four. So bang, done deal. This right here, you're gonna boom, take away four, boom. That four is gonna go all the way back and you're gonna get your eight hours. I mean, you know, you're gonna get your full uh, eight hours back because you took that 30 minute break. So uh, you could take 
you know as many breaks as you want but as long as this total shift has it ran down so anytime you drive obviously your drive time is going to go down and also your total shift now this might get a little confusing and it might not to some people just for y'all to understand this remember this and hear this clearly so right now you see i'm off duty right and i said right again but boom i'm off duty right here is my drive time right here is my total shift now you ask well why is my drive time going down if i'm not driving well it's because i've already started my day so since i started my day my total shift is going down which that means my drive time is going down because this is the this is much time as i got throughout the day to start keep working basically because my time has already started so once you do that pre-trip in the morning 15 16 minutes or whatever amount you're doing your pre-trip that time is going to keep going down no matter what so keep that in mind like you probably ask man why do i need to worry about this time if i you know gotta only worry about my drive time well it's not like that because you got 11 hours here 14 hours here but this total shift no matter what you do is going to keep on rolling no matter what so you want to make sure before this time goes out you definitely want to be off the road already uh at a safe haven so whether that be at a truck stop it be at uh you know what i'm saying you uh you receive you receiving you drop off you pick up whatever it is you want to make sure you're on point with that and yeah so uh let me see drive time so drive time let me see what else can i bring up so boom on this cycle right here is 70 hours for your eight days so you don't really want to worry about your cycle unless you know you don't really have to worry about it honestly until like your seventh six seven eight days when you really start paying attention to it because then you start calculating well traffic like let's say if i had uh 10 hours right 10 hours left on my cycle let's say i had to go from dallas texas to uh lakeland florida well lakeland florida is 16 hours so if i only had 10 hours right here I could only make it let's say halfway then I got to take a 34 hour reset so I got to sit uh, has a sign okay close that um, just basically I got a, um, a load or whatnot but um, so right here uh, back to it so yeah I can only drive halfway then I got to do a 34 hour reset so with that 34 hour reset I'm gonna have to sit for 34 hours and then when I do those 34 hours all my time is gonna come back so this is going back i mean it's going basically stays at eight but this day this gonna go to eight this gonna go to 11 this gonna go to 14 and this will go to 70. so that's basically why you do 34 hour resets is so you can reset your full time and then you get back on the road and you know what i'm saying keep trucking or hot shotting whatever you do and yeah so as you can see since i started this video till now all these uh i mean these two clocks right here have been going down i think yeah let me see be patient be patient I'm trying to catch it when it switches it uh, down to 7.03 on both clocks. Come on now. Has it just switched? I don't know. Y'all could probably see it on the video. But right here at the bottom, it says uh, today. Uh, yeah, see that? Boom, they switched. But anyways, uh, today I did uh, four hours. I've been doing trucking four hours. So I did uh, 188 miles. It tells you right there, and it's uncertified. So I certify my logs after every single day, as you should. And that's basically, you know, how you do the thug dizzle. And right here, you can see your previous days and all that good stuff. Um, I average, uh, well, now nah, I don't really average. It depends how, how far I'm going. But let's say if I'm going to here to West Texas, like I'm in Dallas, Texas right now. But let's say I go to West Texas, I could run a straight 717 miles a day. What I do is when I, when I start my full clock, my full clock is uh, good and kosher, right? I said right again. Man, look, I'm gonna say right about 30 times in this whole video. But check this out so me i take off get my load uh go on i mean do my uh pre-trip got my load hooked up and everything right boom do my pre-trip boom done deal i drive as much as i can i try to run all my clocks down so until i need a break i stop that's when i do my 30 minutes so i try to run this time as much uh as much as i can all the way uh, up until i do my 30 so when i do my 30 obviously i get the rest of my time back so i get the full 11 hours so first you drive you want you drive your eight hours then you take your 30 minute break and then you get your uh your your full 11 hours so the three hours that are left so right here it yeah it is your total is 11 but let's say okay let's say for an example you have a full 11 yeah so it will show full 11 so it will show full 11 but in order to get those full 11 you need to do a 30 minute break 
So that's why this clock is here to basically warn you and notify you that you need to take a 30 minute break so you can get them full 11 hours. And it will notify you on the pad or whatever, what, I don't know what type of uh, you know app y'all using, but it would always notify you and uh, keep you on point with that. And let's say you kind of went over or whatever and you busy looking at the GPS for an example right here. I don't want to show where I'm at, but whoop. So boom, I don't think it really matters, but uh, I'm in D-Town, Texas, baby. But let's say, um, let's say th these hours are getting really low. I was driving and I need to hurry up and take off, uh, get off the road, whatever, go to safe haven, safe haven, uh, you know, truck stop, rest stop or whatever. You're gonna go ahead and, uh, I mean, this will show you, it'll have like a warning sign, warning sign, and it'll tell you, hey, you need a certain amount of time to pull over. I mean, it'll obviously show you the time, but it'll say warning, and then, uh, you know, it basically warn you before you go into violation, and that's basically how that goes there. And uh, let me see what else I can give y'all, man. If I haven't answered any questions in this video that y'all want me to answer, comment down below. If I, did, I said something that's false, comment down below. But so far, I'm pretty sure everything's been on point and let me see what else can i show y'all this is basically the screen on how it looks so let's say oh that's a great example right here so um right now i've been on off duty because i don't have a load i don't have anything to do so i'm off duty uh do, 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 right do, 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 right so whenever we do let me see boop, 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 boop. okay for an example y'all go to let's say y'all go to a rest stop Y'all gonna go ahead and uh, at the end of y'all shift, y'all done with y'all shift. <clears throat> y'all gonna go ahead and uh, pull up to a truck stop, find y'all parking, go ahead and park into it. Whenever y'all go in a truck stop, man, y'all wanna go on off duty because if y'all go in a sleeper berth and y'all go inside the, uh, let's say y'all go inside of the uh, petrol, loves pilot, and a DLT officer is in the parking lot, you wanna make sure to be on off duty because they can ticket you or they can't find you. If you put you in a sleeper berth, then you're really inside the store getting a drink and getting some chips, woo woo, getting something to eat, and coming back to the truck. They they pop you coming back from the truck. You obviously not in the sleeper berth. So with that being said, you make sure to go on off duty, and then yeah, do what you got to do. Come back, and whenever you do come back, then you can pop it in the sleeper berth, save it, and you know what I'm saying you be good, you be gravy. So then you sleep, and then you get your 10 hours of a uh, uh, break, and then that's a good example also to give y'all so um you know everybody knows you need your 10 hour break so after every single work shift this has gone down this has gone down and everything has gone down or even if it hasn't gone down like for an example right here right now if i was to take a 10 hour break uh let's say on off duty or the sleeper bird 10 hours from uh let's say i've only been on off duty for 10 uh two hours right so let's say that's eight so let's say if I, I stayed here on off duty for eight more hours i get my drive time back and my total shift back so this will be 8 11 and 14. so this like i said this ain't coming back until i do my full uh 34 hour reset so if i was chilling here 34 hours which is uh 32 more hours i'd get all my time back like full so i get 8 11 14 and 70. so that's basically a breakdown of the basics on this tablet and on the hours of service. And I hope y'all been enjoying these videos and I hope this video helped y'all with any kind of hours of service questions y'all have. And right here, if you click on this, it will show you um, all the stuff that you did. Like uh, for an example here, you're off duty. I went on drive. I went on uh, dr a drive. I went on on duty. I went off duty. You know, so it shows you everything and then it still hasn't hit the 24 so uh because i haven't finished my day and every day should end with uh you know 24 so full so you go off duty this counts up your full day so no matter what it's going to equal up to 24 hours throughout your day right here at the end of the day so yeah that's green that's gravy man i hope y'all have found this uh video um man i'm all messed discombobulated i hope y'all found this video very helpful y'all remember to like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel man i greatly appreciate it and uh yeah man y'all remember to like and comment man because it helps me out with the algorithm and also follow me on instagram once again i'm gonna put it right here down below maybe in this corner in this corner but y'all see the thug dizzle man i greatly appreciate it and yeah man so y'all comment down below what other kind of content y'all like to see like i said i do have my rap uh mustang 5.0 gt coming to the channel soon it is wrapped it is done i did vlog last week when i did pick it up actually a week and a half ago when i picked it up so 
yeah i think uh people that love cars or just like cool cars in general is gonna like and enjoy this wrap so yeah and we out baby let's go